Ooh, what's up what's up guys today we've got a super fun one for you guys just going in with our already made grilled chicken from tyson we know we love that today i am going to show you guys how to make a chicken panne pasta wrap I me mean, one second i'm sorry where are we going oh we're going in with our crushed red tomatoes yummy yum put that in here we want to make sure we're cleaning as we go as well so you'll see me and hear me dumping things out here here I've got three cups of baby spinach as you guys can see we're gonna put that in here this is going to be super delicious no one likes a dry pasta right so if we don't want our dry pasta we do have our milk here and that is ooh, what is that that is two cups of milk to add in there we definitely want to go in with our oh nope I'm going too soon going too soon Joe our pesto sauce super important and you can add as much pesto as you like uh, that depends on the preference of your family blah 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 you want to make sure you get every last drop in there um, if you're really a fan of pesto you can do two which will give you about 15 ounces or 12 ounces because this is a 6.5 um, ounce bottle here super yummy though and we're gonna combine all of these um, ingredients so that our sauce and everything's together oh don't forget your alfredo sauce yummy yummy let's pour that in here bear with me guys or stay with me guys I promise it's going to look and taste so 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 yummy my kids absolutely love this um, mixture and then I'm just trying to make sure it is okay so four ounces of cheese here now I love cheese absolutely love cheese so I'm not even gonna hold y'all I definitely try and add just maybe a little bit more to my heart's content <laughs> uh, because I am really really big on cheese my body can process it uh, unfortunately my my spouse is not so much <laughs> Um, so once you've combined all of those things in your bowl, you're going to mix this in. Oh, where did I put my spoon? Oh no! Give me one second, guys. I'll be right, 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 right back. Here we go. Got my spoon. You want to mix all of that. Make sure it's nice and saturated in here. Get your tomato sauce all throughout there without messing up your. Well, you can't necessarily mess up your baby spinach, but. I like to make sure that it's still going to give me some nice whole chunks there when I mix it all together with my milk and my yummies. I know some of you guys are like, what kind of pasta is she making again? <laughs> this is a pesto panne pasta and I promise you your family is going to absolutely love it. So that is nice and saturated there as you guys can see and hear all through there. Make sure I've got my nice cheese. It is going to thicken a bit guys uh, because that cheese is in there. So it's going to be not like I said, nobody likes a, uh, a dry pasta. Let me put this right here. Okay. Also, I have already prepped my noodles. Already prepped my noodles off screen. So we will be adding our wonderful mixture to that. But firstly, I've got grated Parmesan cheese here. We're gonna put that together. Right now we're making our topping for it. I've got Italian breadcrumbs as well, a half cup. Both of those were a half cup, guys. And then a tablespoon of oil. You wanna add that in there and you wanna give it a nice little mix because you do want it to be well saturated um, before you add it to the top of your mixture for your pasta. Again, nobody wants a dry pasta, right? So we're gonna mix that in there, nice and yummy, let it get saturated. I actually think I may add even just a dollop more of oil, just for my taste. Again, you do not have to, but I'm just going to do a do, do a dollop, do, do a dollop. <laughs> Uh, more of olive oil in there to get it a little bit more saturated for my liking and my taste and you can do the same season to taste and whatnot for your family I love it I love it I love it I love it yes that looks good to me <clears throat> it looks great to me so we're gonna sit this mixture over to the side here and now it's going to be one of my favorite parts of cooking period is when we get to put everything together loves everything together i'm going to add in our noodles 
to our mixture before adding it to our bowl. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, she kind of made a mess, just a little bit. I dropped one noodle, but kind of made a mess. <laughs> so again, we don't want dry pasta. This is what you want. You want it to coat and saturate your noodles. Your noodles should be just a little al dente because nobody wants soggy pasta either, right? So you see how they still have a little bounce when I spin them? They're not falling apart, breaking apart as I try and turn them in here. They're staying whole, nice and al dente because they do still have to go in the oven to cook for this pasta, right? So knowing that they're gonna soften a little in the oven, you definitely don't want them too soft and all the way done in this prepping stage, right? So you see how it's getting nice and saturated in there? We want all of that flavor all over our noodles. Yes. Why? Again, because nobody, nobody, nobody know how likes a dry <laughs> pasta. Okay. So this is about ready for us to add to our pot. I have already prepped and greased my pot and preheated my oven to 350. So that part is done there. Let me get my beautiful pot here. Like I said, I have already pre-greased my pot you don't want your noodles sticking to your pot you know what I think I'm just gonna add this right here if you guys can see and then we're gonna start dumping our mixture into our pot here into our pre-greased pot and see how that goes let me make sure we spread it out we don't want to overstuff our pot either and we still have to put our nice topping on there. I'll crumble. I think we've got a little bit more room to put a little bit more on there. I don't know how large your family is, <laughs> but um, with me being an army vet, I have a tendency of cooking as though I'm still cooking for a battalion of people. So as you can see, I've prepped more than enough for this bowl. But that also means that with it already prepped, I can definitely throw some of this in the freezer and have it for leftovers or just for myself later on in the week. So we don't have to overdo this. I'll move this over to the side here. We're going back to our mixture here. Made a little bit of a mess again. We're going back to our mixture here and we will be topping this with our mixture, with our breadcrumb mixture. Remember, this is our Italian breadcrumbs um, our grated Parmesan cheese and just a little bit of oil there. Okay, so we want to make sure it's nice and saturated. We're going to start coating it. I always like to make sure I get it in the corner. I don't know if you guys are like me and you're a corner gal when it comes to your mac and cheese pieces or your brisket pieces. I'm like, no, I want it where it starts to get a little, just a little bite and crunch to it there. So I always want to make sure I put it in the corners and bring it in myself. I always trace the outside of the pan to make sure that there's not a single part left unturned here or unseasoned <laughs> because I and my spouse are crust gals. We love the crust of the pies. We love the crust of the pastas. We love the crust. So <clears throat> adding that mixture into the center now here, brought it back inside. And then we're going to throw this in the oven at 350 for, I believe, roughly about 40 minutes. Ooh, it already smells so good, guys. And this pasta is going to be so delicious. I can't wait to hear how your family liked it. Be sure to tell us, if you, especially if you made any changes to it. If you guys decided, oh, I decided not to do as much cheese and it turned out this way. I want to hear all about it. So here we are. Here is our finished, well not finished product, but before it goes into the oven, you can put put a uh, foil on this if you prefer uh, your crust to kind of crispify a little bit more. If not, you can throw it just straight in the oven like this um, regularly and we will be back in about 40 minutes to show you guys the finished products. Yum yum.
and look at that everybody num 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 as you guys can see the corners look a little bit darker than the rest of it which is my favorite part of the pasta like it to have that little crunch we're gonna give it a taste test so excited over here looks like it's got a little bit more for me and again nobody loves a dry pasta guys look at that cheese pull look at that y'all know i love my crust i already told you guys i love my crust i'm gonna grab a little bit more out of here just because i really really want yes mm -mm -mm. okay okay let's see what we've got here oh, 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 oh. oh it smells so good it smells so good. Also, um, I typically like my pasta a little a little spicy, but the people who are eating with me do not. So, um, I might add a little pepper for myself or some red pepper flakes. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god, that is so good! Actually, it doesn't need pepper, guys. I take it back. I take it back. It doesn't need pepper at all. It's creamy. It's cheesy. I love the way the tomato actually marries with the pesto. This is delicious. Yeah, this is the one, guys. So it actually doesn't need pepper. If you do like it spicy, maybe a little red pepper flake. Mm. Mm. That is good. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I'm so proud of that. I am so proud of it, guys. I think you're going to love it. I know my family's going to love it. Your family's going to love it. The only, only, only thing that I would probably add a little bit more of, if anything, was a teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of salt. It's so good. It is so yummy. Try out this recipe and remember to let me know how you guys felt about it, what you added, what you took away. I don't think that it needs, like I said, it doesn't need anything. It's all based on personal preference. If you want to add a little spice, um... Or maybe a little twinge of salt in there, but it, it is absolutely delicious. I'm proud of this one, guys. What do you think?